Les Miserables. It was a quiet, sunny day. The cold steel gate of a prison creaked open, releasing a tired man with a long beard. You are free to go, Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean had been in prison for 19 years. Slowly, he raised his eyes to the sun, which he hadn't seen in so many years. Freedom. I am free at last. Hmm. Jean Valjean returned to the small French village where he grew up. Hungry and exhausted, he went to a restaurant hoping for a little food. Where's the owner? May I eat here? Well, only if you can pay. Oh, uh, uh, of course. Jean Valjean had made some money in prison and he showed it to the restaurant owner. <laughs> Very well. Take a seat. At that moment, an elderly man dining at the restaurant called out indignantly. Hey, what's going on here? Owner, that man is a convict. A convict? Uh, really? A really? convict? Here? A convict? Uh, no, no, not Where? in this. The other patrons began to murmur nervously amongst themselves. This is unacceptable. Are you saying we should eat beside a dangerous convict? If this is the case, I will leave at once. No, please stay. At least finish your dish. Uh, uh, the restaurant owner was hesitant, but he finally resolved to remove Jean Valjean from the restaurant. I'm sorry, but I can't let you stay. I have to ask you to leave. You're ruining my business. Get out! Uh, oh, what an unlucky day for me. Still hungry, Jean Valjean tried another restaurant and met with the same cold reception. But... I am not a violent criminal. It makes no difference to me. I will not serve an ex-convict. Um. Facing such rejection and discrimination, Jean Valjean felt desperate and miserable. Jean Valjean knew that he had once been a good man. He had lived with his widowed sister and her young children. They were very poor, and although he worked very hard, he could never make enough to support all of them. It broke his heart to see his little nephews lying in bed, weak with hunger. Uh, poor children. They don't even have the strength to cry anymore. He tried his best to find a job, but them, times no were hard. What. And anything, no one would hire would him. Anything. He was filled with despair at the thought of his starving family. If only I could give my nephews some of this bread. Hey, thief! Stop him! He's a thief! Before he could stop himself, he snatched a loaf of bread and ran. He hadn't gone far when he was caught by the police. Please, let me go. My sister and my little nephew are starving. Please, officer, please understand. Uh, I am not a criminal! Uh, uh. Worried about his family, Jean Valjean had tried to escape from prison many times. He was caught every time, and his sentence was extended as punishment. It had started as three years, but soon became ten, then fifteen, and finally nineteen years. Thrown out of his hometown, Jean Valjean wandered through the darkness and the drifting snow. I only took the bread because I couldn't watch my nephews die. I'm not a violent criminal. No, I'm not. Worn out by hunger and despair, and chilled by the freezing wind, Jean Valjean collapsed in the street. He would have frozen to death if he had not been discovered by a kind Catholic priest. Oh, wake up, young man. You will die of cold out here. When Jean Valjean came to himself, he thought about telling the priest his story. But he stopped himself. Oh, father. No, if he learns the truth, 
He will just cast me out like everyone else. The kind-hearted priest took pity on Jean Valjean and gave him some warm food. Uh, here, help yourself. Oh, Father, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to rush. I have plenty of food for you. The priest was so generous and good to him <sighs> that it made Jean Valjean feel guilty. Father, I must tell you, I'm a terrible sinner. I should have told you right away, but... Mm. Do not upset yourself, my son. You have repented your sins and been forgiven. <laughs> you have served your sentence. You are free now and can begin a new life. Do not give yourself up to hatred and despair. Here, have some more food. As the priest spoke, Jean Valjean could not take his eyes off the sparkling silver plates the maid had brought in. Oh, those plates must be real silver, worth a fortune. Just one must be worth more than twice what I made in prison in 19 years. That night, the thought of the silver plates kept Jean Valjean awake. How can I betray him when he has been so hospitable to me? <sighs> but the world is so unjust. The old man will survive without those plates. And, <clears throat> and what about me? I work just like everyone else and get nothing in return. Why shouldn't those plates be mine? <sighs> After everyone had gone to sleep, Jean Valjean snuck up to the cupboard holding the plates. Giving in to his darker instincts, he grabbed three plates and ran off into the night. <laughs> the following morning, the priest's maid burst into his room as he prepared for morning mass. Uh, 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 father! Father! Uh, 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 something dreadful has happened! What has happened, my child? Three of the silver plates have vanished, father! What? Uh, I know that ex-convict has taken them. But where is he now? I checked his room. The bed is empty and he is gone. He has run off with the silver uh, plates. We must call the police right away. <laughs> uh, uh. To the maid's surprise, <laughs> the priest only smiled. Father? You will tell no one. What? I owed that silver to the needy. God has helped me to see the futility of my own greed in wishing to serve my guests on silver plates while people starve. <laughs> the maid was confused, but she could not disobey her master. Jean Valjean was stopped by the police when he had to show his travel pass. <clears throat> Mm. Ah, yellow pass. You are an ex-convict. Jean Valjean was worried when he remembered the silver plates in his bag. What's that you have in your bag? Oh, nothing. Just old clothes and dishes and Let me see that stuff. Uh, 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 Stop right there, thief! Uh, uh, Wait! Uh, what possessed me to do this? Jean Valjean was arrested for stealing once more. The police came to speak to the priest when he was having dinner that evening. Father, we have some questions for you. Oh. Father, do you recognize this man? Before the police officer could continue, the priest rushed forward and took Jean Valjean's hands. Ah, uh, my friend, I have been waiting for you. Mama. Both Jean Valjean and the police were shocked and confused by the priest's reaction. The priest picked up a silver candlestick from the table and handed it to Jean Valjean. You forgot to take this. Don't you remember? I gave you this candlestick along with the plates yesterday when you promised you would become an honest man. Fa father 
Do you mean this man did not steal your silver plates? Of course not. They were my gift to him. Is this true? The police could tell something was not quite right, but they had no choice but to believe the priest's story. Jean Valjean was deeply moved by the priest's kindness, uh, and tears of remorse filled his eyes. Father, I will never forget this. How can you forgive someone like me? <laughs> mm. Do not throw your life away for a moment of temptation. Uh, uh, I will carry your words in my heart forever. Remember, the law punishes sinners, but love saves them with forgiveness. Why don't you set aside blame and despair and live your life guided by love? True to his vow, Jean Valjean carried the priest's words in his heart always. He let go of his despair and anger and dedicated his life to helping others in need. The Wonderful Adventures of Nils The Steadfast Tin Soldier The Sea Turtle and the Hare Jack the Dullard Maya the Bee The Giving Tree The Adventures of Tom Sawyer Three Thousand Leagues in Search of Mother Alice in Wonderland The Selfish Giant